Welcome back uh, everyone uh, to this last episode of the Alan Bradley PLC and the SQL uh, video series and um, as we saw in the previous step, uh, step 3 that we were able to retrieve uh, our SQL data in this step 4 we are going to try to map that data and uh, publish it to a web browser. So let's start. So as we can see here, uh, this is uh, the data that is in our SQL uh, server. And uh, from the previous step, we already saw uh, how we were able to retrieve that data in our PLC. So now in step four, what we are going to be doing here is map that data to the web server add-on instruction uh, that we have down here and then have that data available in a browser. So just uh, a quick uh, clarification and explanation of what's going on in here. So this first uh, four rungs are responsible for the data mapping. So as you can see here, I just have this little toggle that basically trigger every uh, scan and then it's responsible for incrementing this counter. And therefore, as that is incrementing, uh, I'm using that to basically go from uh, in this array in here uh, to go from one element to the other and map it to the web data uh, in here. So we have the label mapped, we have the description mapped, and then we have the values which is the milliseconds of the PLC clock uh, time. So that's what's uh, happening in here. And then in the bottom here we're just using the the web server add-on instruction that's gonna allow us to uh, visualize that data in a web browser as we are going to see here in a second. So I'm just going to open up my uh, Chrome browser. And I'm going to go to my PLC IP address and then I'm using port 1890. Uh, that was the wrong IP address. It's actually 100. Here we go. Um, so it's going to ask me first to log in. So I'm going to log in my admin, username and password, and then it's going to, after that, it's going to show us uh, the the data as you can uh, see in here. So there we go. If you remember uh, from the last step, the 664. 1214 um, the first row so if we go back to our SQL that's right there and then you have 772,518 which will be the next uh, next row right there description and so forth and uh, I'm showing here just uh, the first 10 rows but we can show up to 30 if we want to uh, another uh, feature as since we are in this uh, uh, web browser visualization, we can also export uh, this table to Excel using this uh, button, which I'm going to show you here in a, in a moment once this loads up. So nine, so there we go. So we have 10, so I'm going to hit export now and as you can see here is my file I'm going to open it up and as you can see here here is the data coming from your browser to Excel so um, that's how that works I hope uh, you guys enjoyed the, this uh, video and I will see you in the last step, which is step 5. Thank you very much for watching.